Friday morning and we have a big enough workout to do today. It's going to be four times, 30 squat cleans at 43 kilos, 30 pull-ups and an 800 meter run, three rounds for time of that. But before we start getting into building up to the weight for a squat clean, I want to just take you through my barbell warm-up. Right, so before we start putting on, I wait for the squat cleans, I like to start off this barbell warm-up. First thing we do in it is five good mornings. So the good mornings from here, you're just going to push the hips back, hinging over, and just go for five nice steady reps of the good mornings. Once you finish your fifth good morning, just keep the barbell on your back and from there you're going to go into five back squats. Come all the way down, five steady back squats. Once you finish the back squats then just pop it into the front rack position and you're going to go for five elbow rotations on each side. So ten rotations in total. If you want to take a wee pause at the top of those reps, you can. Five each side, ten in total elbow rotations, driving them elbows up. So when you finish your last elbow rotation, just again keep it on the front rack position and you're going to five strict press. So five strict press after your rotation. Once you finish your strike press, then you're going to take it back down to the hang position. And from here, then we're going into five RDLs. So again, pushing the hips back and down. Five RDLs. Once you finish your RDLs, then back into the front rack position and you're going for five front squats. And the last thing I like to do then, whatever the movement is for the day, saying as we've got squat cleans today, is five empty barbell squat cleans before I start to get on my workout weight. Right, so that was the barbell warm up that I'll do nine times out of ten before I do any barbell movements. The only time it'll change is if it had been a snatch. Say there were snatches in the workout, we would have changed some of my movements. The strict press, for example, would have went to a snatch grip behind the neck push press. The RDLs would have changed to a snatch grip deadlift. The front squats would have changed to overhead squats. And those five empty barbell reps would have either been power snatch or hang snatch or squat snatch, whatever it would have been. We would have implemented those instead of the five squat cleans. We just did squat cleans today with empty bar because that's what we're going to be doing now in the workout. So. Build up now, get the workout weight on, and we will get ready to start on this.
Right, that workout was horrendous. Um, absolutely horrendous. 30 squat cleans of 43 kilos, handy enough, you know, you think light enough weight, but like three rounds of 30 and 90 in total. I started off first round a set of 10, and then I ended up doing fives then for the rest of it. Um, on the pull-ups the first round, I went 20, 10, and then on the run on the first round, just nice steady pace in the run. Back in then, fives from day dot on the squat cleans, pull-ups three sets of 10, back out steady in the run, and then the last round then, fives on the squat cleans, uh, two tens on the pull-ups and then I went two fives on the last two set of pull-ups and then pushed the run then to uh, finish kind of half muddling and strong. On the second round of squat cleans too, I was at 15 and I wasn't sure if I had 15 done or not and I think now looking back I definitely did have 15 done but at, whenever I hit the third aces now you know what I'll do an extra five in case so I did an extra five in the middle there too stupidly enough but um, that's what you get for not counting. I was pretty sure I had them done but I wasn't 100% and then it turned out I did actually have them done but whatever extra five do no harm. Um, so that was that I think I finished it in like 28 something 28 what did I check on a second. Hi. 28, 27 I finished that and there's a 30 minute time cap on it so I didn't really have way much time to spare to be honest on it. Had a wee bit of a grip incident too in the first round. Then Valita scripts that I got the other day, I definitely did a good job but I think I just got the wrong size, I got extra large. So they started to kind of clump up a wee bit uh, with the material um, so I went back to the usual victory grips. Um, other than that, hard workout, very hard workout. One more piece left to do now, it's just a wee 10 minute EMOM. It's with a strict way to pull up piece to do now. Um, this is meant to be done obviously with like a max load. We're going to do one single weighted strict pull up every minute on the minute for 10 minutes, right? I am just feeling tired after them pull ups here the day. There's 90 of them in that workout. And then earlier on the week in the evenings, I did a bit of accessory stuff with like chin ups and pull ups and all as well. So I'm just going to do the weighted vest, one single pull up every minute on the minute for 10 minutes, and that'll do me for the day. If you're doing this uh, at home or in your own gym, I would probably load her up a bit heavier. But just for the way I'm feeling today, 10 of these, get it done, that'll do me. Right, that's the uh, weighted strict pull-ups done, as I say. Just went light enough on that today. Just the vest. Ugh. One every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. Wasn't too heavy. Um, and that's the training done today, folks. There wasn't really wild much in it. The workout was fairly big, but all in all, there wasn't that wild much in it. Pat, please stop crying, sir. Every single time. Um, so that was it. I, I just a wee bit disappointed. I could have probably went a wee bit quicker on it. I'd say that grips, I had to change the grips in the middle of that first round, probably lost about a minute and a half farting about with them, and then those extra squat cleans then, and the second round probably added on a good bit of time too as well, so that was it, um, I'll not be retesting it anyways for a long time, but I think I definitely could go quicker at it, anyways that's it done and dusted folks for the day, what I'm actually going to start doing too is maybe, maybe tonight, um, I'm going to go back on that program that I was at the time I snatched 100 kilos and I want to try and um, start getting a bit more weightlifting and I feel like I'm kind of neglecting it a wee bit, a wee bit, a wee bit much but I want to like, focus on a wee bit more on it now, maybe try and get back to that 100 kilo snatch and get them cleans and front squats and all back up again so I'm going to maybe do a wee bit more of that in the evening time. Uh, that may be like a separate video where there's no editing or nothing on it, it's just I'm going to record the session and that's it for the weightlifting. Um, so that's something I might do, I might start that tonight, if not I'm going to put it off to next week but I'm going to write out the program again now the day for both the clean and the snatch and then I'll start to try and implement that a wee bit more into my week now so that's the plan right see you tomorrow Saturday for the next one good luck